but apparently they don't wipe their ass here. Hello, Grim here, and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hi. <laughs> Today, I have a collab. I have a collab with Krista, and we have built a fairy tale village. Hi, my name is Krista, and I did this collab with I Am Grim. I did the right side of the lot as well as the inside of the castle. So if you want to see the first two floors of that beautiful castle, as well as what I have on the right side of the lot, check out my video, which should be linked below in the description. See you soon. Bye. In this video, I'm going to be covering my half of the build, which is the left side. And then I'm also going to be covering the third and fourth floor of the castle. This build has literally been in the works, I think since October. We've both had a lot of things going on. Like I was moving, the build in general is big it just takes a long time so it's been it's been a long time coming to be honest <laughs> originally we wanted to build far far away from shrek it is still inspired by far far away it's just not exactly that obviously we just ended up going with a fairy tale village i hope you enjoy it and let's go ahead and get started and look at the build and let's hope that my footage isn't corrupted <laughs> Okay, so we are here on the lot, and this build was actually built on the island in Windenburg on the largest lot, the Villa Rail family. I believe that's how you pronounce our last name. So you might see those sims in the background, just so you know. So this is my half of the town. On the right side of the castle, we have Krista's side, which you can see in her video, which is also linked below. I built the exterior of the castle. Krista went ahead and furnished the interior, which is a beast. It's four stories high. And honestly, it kind of looks like flat Stanley. Like the castle is pretty flat. It's just when you get to the side or from the back, I mean, the back is pretty ugly, but you're not playing with the back, so it's totally fine. So let's go ahead and explore and see what's in there. So on the outside of the lot, it's actually totally enclosed by a fence. We have these beautiful fences from Get Famous that I've never used before. And these are what you see when you first enter the lot. I have two on each side, but I'm using the left one today because I am showing you my half and my half is on the left. So right when you walk in, you see this beautiful fountain. I believe it's from Get Famous. And we can all thank Chris's fiance for the suggestion because there was originally just a a patch of grass here with no fencing or nothing and neither of us ended up filling it up so shout out to her fiance and then to the left of that fountain we have this tea stand which is totally functional and then we just have some benches and a trash can going forward we have yet another fountain i built this fountain with the actual fountain tool and then i went ahead and put another fountain in the middle just to make it look a little bit bigger there's a whole bunch of benches everywhere i'm not really sure what you're supposed to put in those walkways so we kind of just filled them up with some plants trash cans a bathroom which you can see on that side and and also on this side. And that's pretty much it as far as the walking spaces go. So this very first building is actually a church. And I think it's my favorite that I built out of all of the buildings that I created for my half. This is what you see right when you walk in. I kind of just had to makeshift a cross. I don't know why the roof looks like that, but you won't see that in your gameplay, so it's fine. But I basically just put a giant cross in the middle. It is a Western church, but obviously if you are practicing another religion, I'm sure that you can customize it to that. That is just what I'm most familiar with. So that's basically it for the church. I have little cutouts around on the side here but there's nothing past that IRL there are processions so the priests may come from there or something like that or like the kids that light the candles I don't know but there's nothing back there they're just for show if we turn around and look at the entrance I do have these two pictures as well as quote unquote holy water is what they're supposed to be with little signs next to them basically telling you what you're supposed to do with it I don't know I don't really know what holy water is other than the fact that it's water and it's holy <laughs> and just next to the church I think is actually my least favorite part of this build it's just this other random courtyard looking thing and I put a double bench here as well as some plants and a bunch of other random stuff. All of my plants kind of disappeared because of passing the build along but basically those are all supposed to be vines. I will fix that before this is uploaded to the gallery. I mean you probably won't spend a whole lot of time in here if you play on the side anyway so it's likely fine. So through these doors we have a little cafe. We have five double seating tables with a bunch of flowers and it's very much a coffee shop vibe. I think it looks really cute. It's a little bit bland over here by the fireplace now that I'm looking at it but honestly like who cares it looks fine and then to the right we've just got some sitting areas if your sim was quote-unquote waiting for a table as well as the actual coffee maker and some pastries that you can buy and this fun little mirror wall which, which I've been obsessed with doing in my builds lately all right next building next to the cafe I actually have a clothing retail store for both adults and children the mannequins inside are blank I figured people could customize those however they wanted you can obviously tell it's an orange and blue theme which is something very 
different for me. I'm very used to doing earth tones and blacks and whites. Um, to the left, we have the adult section, and those are all of the clothes, quote unquote, which are really just two closets from Get Famous on the bottom and then decor on the top, as well as some shoe racks and more mirror walls. Again, I'm so obsessed with doing them in my builds. I think that they look really cool. I have these mirrors on both sides of the builds, but these were actually inspired by Disneyland. If you've ever been to Disneyland or even I imagine Disney World, they have mirrors that look just like this and they have fun little displays in there that might show what's on sale in the store or have a little scene that maybe kids can look at and I think that they're really fun. So that's what inspired me putting the window like this and then I basically just did the up. I don't really know what the terminology is for that, but I made the thing float so it could be in the window. Does that make sense? You can tell. Like, you know what I did. You can see what I did. And to the right side of the build is the kids section. It basically, it's the same thing. It just has two little kid mannequins. Before I show you the other buildings, I just want to quickly go over some of the landscaping. So landscaping this build, I think was my favorite part of this build. I think that all of the colors really brought it to live and gave it that fantasy feel. I did something similar to the middle fountain where I actually used the fountain tool and then I put another fountain inside just to make it look a little bit bigger than it actually is. I'm just not used to building with colors so this was this was a challenge but it was fun. I really like landscaping in this end. Moving on we actually have a laundromat so I was really excited when I found this sign with the hanger on it. Obviously I felt like that fit this build perfectly or this little laundromat perfectly rather. So this is the exterior of the build where all of your sims can go and do their laundry. There is no other laundromat and I don't think any of the houses on this lot. I know definitely on my side they don't have any washers or dryers or anything but I think that there might be an outdoor laundry area on Krista's side but you'll have to go check out her video to see. So I purposely left the laundromat pretty bare because you're really just there to do laundry. It doesn't need to be anything extravagant and I think that keeping it bare is a lot more realistic than having a whole bunch of pictures and shelves and everything all around the room. So this is pretty much the laundromat. So we have two sets of washers and dryers on each side as well as this random laundry bin storage thing whatever and then to the right we have a sink with more cleaning supplies and then this random decor but again that's pretty much all I put nothing crazy just some speakers and some couches and things so that way your sims could wait for the laundry as they're waiting for it to dry or maybe wash because this is a very big lot and it does take your sims a while to walk across and over here we have more cleaning supplies and some ironing boards and things whatever laundry needs you may have they can be met here <laughs> so before we go into the castles these are all of the townhouses that I put on my side of the build. I have five total created. They're all one bedroom and all two story and each have their own unique personality. So let's take a look. To the left, the very first house you will see is this very abandoned and cluttered, not really cluttered, but dirty looking home for a sim that kind of keeps life pretty minimalistic, really doesn't have too many things on the walls, obviously, and it's just generally a mess, which I can relate to. <laughs> this was actually the last one I did, which if you can't tell because there's like nothing on here, I was just not having it at this point, to be honest with you. So that is really what's going on here. I keep thinking these are bones, but they're not. It's a stethoscope. I think that's what they're called. I don't know. So upstairs we have lift plants. I don't like the controls for this game. Upstairs we have the bedroom. So I used the bed from Eco Lifestyle to make it look like it's just a box spring mattress on the floor. And then I just have a random light and again, more clutter things. So that piles of dirty clothes, food splatters, another closet thing and some papers pretty much just kept it pretty bare again there's no pictures or anything you can definitely imagine the kind of person that would live here and then through these doors it's just a simple bathroom nothing crazy in here <sighs> for the second house to the left we have just a generic beige looking house and this is actually the only house that i used a ladder in and actually has the most downstairs space because of it so on the left side we have a living room and i thought i put something here maybe a mirror maybe it got lost when we were transferring files again Again, so you could put a painting here, another mirror, whatever you want to put. So we just have our TV, our couch, dining room, kitchen, you get the vibes. And then we have some clipping plants as well, just in case you needed more greenery in your build. And then at the top of the ladder, we have the bedroom. So you go through this little hallway and then you have just another bare kind of room, just beige, whatever. Kept it kind of bare so that way you could add your own sims personality should they choose to live here, as well as just another bare brown beige bathroom. So for the house at the very end of the alley, we have, I think my favorite, house because it's the most cozy in my opinion. So to the left we have the kitchen. It's actually pretty spacious as well as the dining table. I probably added the most clutter quote unquote to this one which really isn't saying much considering all it is are the kitchen utensils and the dish rack. I say it, I really killed it with this one. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then over here we have the living room, which is kind of fun. It's a really cute little corner, just one chair. This is the bedroom. The stairs are actually just behind this wall. And I put another mirror wall just because, again, I'm obsessed with doing that in my builds at the moment. And then through here we just have another bathroom. And I think that this light on the wall really is important to the vibe because I feel like this is very realistic. And I used to have a bathroom like this in my house back in college. And these two houses on the right are actually inspired by a picture that I'll put on the screen right now. So for this very first house, it is all pretty much black. Oops. <laughs> it is all pretty much black with a gothic theme. So we've got the kitchen over here right when you walk in and you have the dining table. So that's a little bit crammed, but it's okay. These houses are pretty small. So I did what I could here. And then over here at the bottom of the stairs, we have the living room as well as these cute little wooden things. I don't really know what these are. Up the stairs, we've got the bedroom, which I will show you right now. I did put a single bed in this one just because this upstairs area is a bit smaller than the other ones. And then here is the bathroom. This is my favorite bathroom that I had in any of the builds. <laughs> Next, we have an entirely pink interior house. Why? Just so you know, there is no dining table in this area, but it's still totally functional. Your son can just sit on the couch, so it's totally fine. I actually did put a cat tower upstairs that you will see, and I have this cat bowl as well. I didn't put a litter box now that I'm thinking about it, so you will have to add that, <laughs> unless I add it before I upload it to the gallery. This is the upstairs bedroom. We have the cat tower, like I said, and then I have another mirror, of course. I've just, again, I'm just obsessed with them right now. Through this door is the bathroom, the toilet with no toilet paper um apparently they don't wipe their ass here so that is it for the townhouses now let's go ahead and explore the third and fourth floor of the castle if you're curious about seeing the entrance which you should be because it looks amazing that will be posted on chris's channel okay so right when you walk up the stairs to the third floor you are met with this gorgeous hallway that has all of these pictures these lights and these rugs and i just think it looks so cool she really really killed it i cannot stress that enough so the very first bedroom we have to the right here is totally Totally blue and it looks so cool we've got this dressing area and it's so fancy for like a little royal person to live here and then we've got this beautiful view honestly of the ocean like so jealous through the next door we have this bathroom it's just got a tub and a toilet pretty self-explanatory it has some fun shelving again we've got this beautiful view over the bathtub with the water which I think would be really fun to take a nice bath in here and then on this side we have I think probably my favorite bedroom I just imagine a very romantic Sim living here. This is the best part. Here she's raised the mirror from Jungle Adventure to be on top of the dresser, which I think is so creative. Like I'm obsessed with how that looks and I'm definitely stealing that idea. So through this last bedroom hallway, we have what I think might be the biggest bedroom aside from the master. We've got another desk in here, another mirror, another dresser, more pictures. I love the way that she's layered and stacked everything. I think it looks really cool. It's adding a lot of personality. <laughs> so in this hallway, we've got these cute little seating areas off to the side. And then through these doors, we actually have a balcony, which is the view of the whole town and as well as the whole island beyond it, which is so cool. Well, I think that this is a really awesome place where the king and queen can come out, wave to all of the plebs <laughs> and just save face basically because eat the rich, you know? So if we go back down that same hallway, we are then up to the fourth floor. So on the fourth floor, we have this really, really fun hallway. But first, let's go through the rooms to the left. So the very first room in here is a bathroom. We've got two little toddler toilets as well as two different bathtubs that are both on each side. A little bit concerning that there is a window door right outside the toilet, but that's fine. So the second room we have here is the toddler slash nursery. So we've got two bassinets and two toddler beds, as well as the little cat dollhouses which is such a cute little touch and for the very last room we have the master bedroom and I think it's the master bedroom but I could be wrong however we do have this painting that's right across from the bed so I assume that would be a picture of the king and queen and then we also have this little desk area for the king and queen to do their king and queenly duties <laughs> also when I said it looks like flat Stanley I literally was not kidding it is so flat and the bath yikes <gasps> Huge shout out to Krista. Thank you so much for collabing with me. This was awesome. I think that this turned out really, really great. It was a long work in process, but somehow we did it and thank God. <laughs> um, so subscribe if you want to. 
let me just address this really quickly. This is not heavily edited. I just, I'm not feeling very motivated and editing is taking up way too much of my time. Like I'm losing myself to editing and I don't like that. So I'm just going to leave this as is, just going to do jump cuts, whatever. And I'm not going to do any funny effects or anything this time, which is sad because I enjoy doing that. It just takes way too freaking long. So I'm sorry if that's what you're coming from. Also, I'm looking in the viewfinder. My, I've had this makeup on forever. Like I look kind of look like shit low key. So if you made it this far, like thank you for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye. Subscribe though. Then I freaked it. Just kidding. Thank you.